Hi, this is Lester, and this is a hot day in July 2018, and I am running a small steam engine on a very small boiler. This boiler is fired on propane gas with a regulator, six inches in diameter made completely out of copper the reason I'm making this video is I've had a lot of trouble with this little uh, simplex feed pump here which was made many many years ago Turn the bypass valve on. I've got a lot of water in that boiler right now. Too much. Uh, I had to. I had to figure out how to make some stops on the uh, the valve on this pump here because apparently it was made for compressed air and it would always over travel. It wouldn't work on steam no matter what I did. So I installed the little push buttons on the end of the uh, shuttle valve and put another stop on the uh, top poppet valve. It works really nice right now. It uh, starts right up. It's a fine job. It's reliable now. Just remember, if you create a pump and it runs well on compressed air, it may not run at all on steam. You can see the bypass valve in the uh, right hand corner. And there's also, as you can see, another hand pump. It's a secondary feed supply. Beautiful little boiler. Works extremely well. I don't know who made it. It's a fire tube boiler with a wet leg. I made the smoke box out of an old antique pressure gauge using its case and bezel and also the uh, top off of an old uh, carriage lamp. Of course, I've got my little unknown vertical steam engine that was used in a uh, marine application. It has Stevenson's reversing gear on it. A very interesting little bear cast in the steam chest cover. has a displacement lubricator on it which is working fine. You can see the oil drip forming at the bottom and making its way up through the water into the engine. Engine knocks a little bit. It needs to be completely gone through mechanically. put the boiler on an old griddle plate turned upside down that my mother had put four little brass legs on it mounted everything integrally um, build a complete steam boiler unit there so I can use it on uh, several different engines this steam engine is way too large for this little boiler, but a little boiler will run a large engine on low steam pressure because of the expansive force of the steam, as, as you can see here. And I also have a little fly ball governor here that was sold as a casting set by Stringlinger out of Chicago hundred plus years ago 
And this governor was very poorly built. I rebuilt the top end of it, new gears, new pins and bushings, and uh, straightened the bent frame. Now I'm working my way down to the top, down to the body. I'm going to build a new valve, a new spindle cord, and uh, some other odds and ends that this governor requires. But that governor fits this little engine right here. Why a marine engine would have a governor, I don't know, but this one did. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to pan over to my left past all the garbage and here is a porcupine steam boiler with fittings from the 1870s, 1880s all fitted to it, gas fired as well actually a uh, automization of kerosene is what what it used uh, nice boiler possibly uh, we'll restore that one of these days but for now my main focus was getting the uh, the boiler in shape needed some work done to it it's been hydrostatically tested to 80 psi safety valve is set to blow off at 40 I have two gauges on it they're both antique but they both correspond pressure wise so we're in good shape there and I just love all the miniature early uh, fancy Victorian type fittings that this boiler has on it. Beautiful setup. These fittings are all shown by the way in the Strindlanger catalog out of Chicago, the same company that sold the governor castings. But I have not been able to figure out who built the steam engine or who built the steam boiler or who built this little steam pump. I'm very happy with that pump now. It runs and it pumps very well. Okay, that's it. Just a short hot July video to share with my friends and I hope you have found it useful. Thank you.